Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today I have something very interesting to show you. Now this is a Steam Workshop designed by Captain Severus, and the idea of it is a colony in a suitcase. Just imagine that you have a number of these aboard a larger ship, and you could deploy these out to different areas and set up little outposts. And I'll show you how they deploy. It's, it's really cool and it's really exciting. And it just has all that sort of pop-up function that you would actually require. So if we bring up the menu here, and we start with pressing button number one, you'll see the platform below starts to extend out. And it has a little bit of a hangar bay area, but I'll extend all the areas out and we'll have a little bit of a tour as well. So the second part then rotates all the cabins and the different utility areas out as well. So you've got different areas and I'll show you them shortly as well. So if we move on to number three, we extend out the solar panels. Now these solar panels are modded, centered solar panels and they look really cool. Just watch this next function. This is one, this is my favorite step. Okay, so you press number four and it actually lowers out a number of control panels like so, as well as it's flooring for the inside and it angles the solar panels so you're gonna get some power out of them. So once we've done that, we can actually move on to number five, I believe. So number five lowers out one of these, I think, hangar areas. No, it's the refinery zone. So you can see that area actually lowers out there. Pretty cool indeed. And that connects up with there for a little bit of a doorway and an airlock. So now on to number six. So number six actually extends out the communications room. And number seven then rotates out the antenna and you've pretty much deployed a whole station base out of a very small package and that's just absolutely amazing and then also we have lights with number eight and we have bigger lights with number nine so let's actually get out of this cockpit and have a little bit of a tour so now that we've actually deployed the colony in a suitcase let's actually have a look at some of the features that it has to offer in its little cabins so first off, let's actually take a look in this room. So this first room seems to be a little bit of a control center as well as an area where the beacon and the antenna is. So it could be like a communications room or something, but there's loads of space to add extra features. We've got conveyors here that are conveyed and connected up to all the sections. So you can get supplies from any of the car containers. So let's actually have a look in this room. So opening this one, there's another sort of viewing platform, another area where you could put whatever you want. You could have a gym, fitness equipment, maybe some communications sort of systems. And you've got these lovely little balconies on the side as well. So let's actually move on to one of the resource processing units, that I believe is in this next section over here. So if we open up this door, we'll actually go inside and we've got a storage container. So this is one of the storage. So you can see we've got a cargo container and we have got an adapter here so we can connect ships up, return supplies to this sort of suitcase and then move on. So it's perfect for a mining sort of colony. So if you just uh, drop off supplies at this location, filter them back, fold this place up, attach it back to the large ship and off you go. So now this next area has a really interesting feature. So it just looks like a refinery room with a reactor and some power cells. But if we actually activate this button here, you'll actually notice, hold on, it's that button there. We're extending the pistons down and it actually operates as a lift for the hangar zone. Now, I believe this is the hangar bay because it seems to have enough area for that sort of function. So this actually lowers down. And if we head out over here, we can actually head into one of the hangar bays where we could store one small mining ship, perhaps. Really cool. It's really interesting. Just a really dynamic design. And it's it's not necessarily modular, but it just seems to control the space that it's actually in. Anyway, let's have a go at folding this thing up. Now, before we pack away this colony in a suitcase, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you. Now, originally, this was designed for sort of a planetary sort of mission. So the idea is you'd place it about 10 meters off the ground. And this area here could double as a vehicle bay and other areas this lift could take you down to planet side level as well. So that's just another little feature that I've read about in the description. But let's actually pack this bad boy away and see just how fast we can get it away and out of here. So first off, let's get rid of them lights, cut the lights, hit number seven. Okay, so we're folding the antenna away and we can speed the process up by I think skipping a step and going to number five and doing the lift at the same time. We can also do number six to retract the antenna door in. And now we do need to go for number four. So number four is going to su suck all the panels in that we use for walking in the middle. Then three will suck the panel from the top, the solar panels into the suitcase soft design. And the next step turns this thing into a much more complicated, or not complicated, but a much more compact sort of package as all the modules retract in. And the final step is to retract the sort of skid area where you're going to be docking your ships. I don't recommend you really dock a ship when you're folding it away though because you've got very little space for it to actually live. So there it is, folded away 
and make sure to check this out on the workshop. It's an amazing design. I'll have a link for it in the description below. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.